The Taipei Martyrs Shrine is a popular attraction for foreign and domestic visitors, though the finance ministry hopes to outsource its operations to a third party. The defense ministry is hesitant as it believes an outside contractor won't be able to preserve the dignity of the shrine and maintain activities such as the changing of the military honor guard. The Martyr Shrine hosts two major ceremonies each year, one in spring and one in fall, as well as the daily handover ceremony of the military honor guard. The shrine continues to be popular with domestic and foreign tourists, though the finance ministry is now considering outsourcing the management of the facility to an outside contractor. There are many things that still need to be discussed before a comprehensive and complete plan can be decided. We must undertake a very careful assessment. The defense ministry has reservations about handing over operations to a private company. However, public bidding for the project has already been completed, with suitable contractors currently undergoing an assessment. If we want to privatize the area, allowing commercial business to operate, then we need to ensure that the atmosphere would maintain consistent with the current martyr shrine, as we don't want people to think the area is a recreational area. Premier Simon Chang said that all groups applying to manage the facility should be carefully evaluated. He reiterated the area is much more than a tourist attraction, as it's an area that honors nation's wartime martyrs.